Okay, I think we'll be starting. <laughs> okay, guys, please sit down. Uh, let's get starting. Uh, Cambria, Jesse. <laughs> uh, actually, I think I'm gonna take this off. Doesn't look good on a on a video. <laughs> I think. So the uh, the theme for tonight is Alice in Wonderland. Uh, just so you're aware, the party theme. Uh, just just a disclaimer. I have an identical twin brother amongst you, and he looks exactly like me. So if to avoid any awkward situations, be aware there's an identical person here. Uh, so basically, another nine weeks have gone past, and we have spent this time with nine, ama no, twelve amazing individuals. So very independent, uh, thinking individuals, and none of them knew how to code nine weeks ago. Uh, and they're going to use their tech skills for a lot of different purposes. So some are going to become product managers, others, of course, web developers. Others are going to become tech legal consultants. And many are going to become, well, entrepreneurs. So using their skills to actually build uh, amazing products in the future. So the boot camp is a lot more than a coding boot camp. Of course, the core is to learn how to code. But you learn how to product manage. You learn how to think, design, how to collaborate, how to spend time with actually amazing people. But just learning, designing, and getting things done. For some, it actually goes deeper. It's a self-development journey where you actually go deeper and you actually realize what your purpose is, what you really want to do, and who you are. And that's really powerful when you think this is actually a coding boot camp. Uh, this wouldn't have, ha have been possible with the amazing people that surround us. So from our teachers, Gabby, uh, Marty. So Gabby was the first teacher for the wagon in Paris that started four uh, years ago. Marty, an amazing entrepreneur. Aaron, who was actually a student last boot camp. We had Juliette, who's just been completely amazing. We have, well, John. We have all, honestly, a group of really distinct individuals. We have our career coaches, that is Jamie and Sam, who are completely different from every recruiter. So they're career coaches and recruiters but they go deep into really figuring out who people are, their purpose, what they do, what, who they are, so they can really have that as an energy to go further. And we have this mad Inspire9 community, which is pretty mad, because this, this is an open space. It's pretty cool that so many people can work together in such an open space and in this harmonious environment for, like say, months after months, years after years, and that's pretty, pretty cool. So enough talking, and we'll start with the, uh, the, the presentations. <laughs> uh, I think, so just, if there's any error, error pages, so a 404 page, these students, the group is gonna buy a drink, so buy a drink for every one of you, or they're gonna do, what's it called? The Futter Wacken Mad Hatter Dance from Alice in Wonderland. So they'll have the choice, either buy you all a drink, or do the dance in front of you. So the first group, three really cool individuals. Uh, they're all, I think, going to become entrepreneurs. So get it out for Flitter. So come on up, Nicholas. Good evening, everyone. Well, my name is Nicholas. If you could, could just humor me, raise your hands if you love traveling. Very well. So I love traveling too. And you guys are going to be so lucky tonight because I'm going to share with you what my wife, Patricia, sitting right in front in black, has just found on the web is an application that can help you save hours and hours of time in travel planning. So you can see from the website right below on how to use this web. But what we are going to do is to really plan our trip in December. We are going to the west coast of the United States right in front of you live. So. We are going to arrive in San Francisco airport on Christmas and we have planned to depart Los Angeles on the 30th 
And I've rented ourselves a tiny little red car with the logo of a horse in front. Do you guys know what car is that? No? It's a Ferrari. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right, so we're going to drive. We're going to drive in the West Coast. And uh, we put in our details. So let's start planning our trip. So as you can see, this is the page where we put in all the details on where we want to go that we have in mind already. So the first things that are on top of my list would be Universal Studios as well as Disneyland. I like to check out all the roller coasters in every city I go. So I'm going to put that in. And um, I'm going to check out Las Vegas. You know, I'm going to try and win all the money I'm going to spend on this trip back as much as I can, believe it or not. And there are probably also a couple of things that I want to try to do in San Francisco. Um, those touristy stuff like, you know, um, checking out the Golden Gate Bridge, the Museum of Modern Art. And there are also a couple of things more that we probably want to check out in San Fran. Terry, you have any in mind? Anything? Yeah, thanks for reminding me on that because my wife really loves animals. So let's go to the zoo. And there's probably a few things I want to do as well on the hikes, you know, like uh, checking out Yosemite National Parks, you know, getting some weight, some weight off myself, and the Grand Canyons. I think these are some of the things that I really, really want to do when I'm in the west coast of the United States. And now that we have all these in place, Usually, it would take us hours and hours to find out which would be the best way to see all these destinations. But with one click, this website shows you exactly how you should navigate. So you can see that we should start from San Francisco, go to Yosemite next, and then move on to Las Vegas and day three, we are going to be there. So right away, we can book a hotel in Las Vegas on the third day and we'll be in Grand Canyons and then we'll end off with two days in Los Angeles. And that's where we want to book our hotels as well, straight away, without having to spend so much time trying to plot them out one by one. And you can see on the left, the routes have been plotted out for you. And we can even see on each individual day for example, on, for the first day when we arrive in the airport, what we are going to do, you know, once we land at 9 a.m., we're going to drive quite a bit to the zoo. The opening hours, we're going to make it at 10 a.m. straight away. We're going to maximize our time there. And uh, more things like, um, you know, like the ratings and so on that this web actually tells you. And you can see on the left that this is where you'll be. These are the locations where you'll be at. You don't have to do this manually on Google Maps anymore. And now we like this trip a lot. We can save this, put this on, onto our profile. And I mean, this application is so great that I have already planned a couple of trips. And the great thing about this app is also the fact that you can access this when you are traveling. You can go back to see your trip details. You don't have to use Excel sheets anymore that I typically use. And you can also add new things as and when you want. And there's a little secret to this. It's not just going to be used for travel planning. If you guys are going to do pub crawl like 10 pubs after this, you can use this app to optimize your time after this. Thank you, everyone. So I talked about these 12 strong personalities. In this next group, you have three strong personalities. And luckily for us, they made this boot camp super entertaining for the rest of us. So this group is so dysfunctional that they just made, they, they're so dysfunctional in such a great way. So give it up to Maroya. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Paul, for um, telling our secret there. Um, so yeah, my name is Michael, um, and this is Doug over here and David over there, and we were a team that came up with Maria. So I'm gonna take you on a bit of a, bit of a journey. So before I joined the wagon, I was actually an environmental consultant. So I had a lovely, cushy corporate job fantastic parties. But it wasn't my thing. Why? I'll tell you in a second. So a part of that, I had to work in land contamination. And I had to go out into these really bizarre construction sites and dig holes. But we didn't get the pleasure of using machinery. No, we had to dig holes by hand. 
Not one or two holes. That wasn't worth their time. We had to dig holes, hundreds of holes, 30, 40, 50 per day. And with those holes, we had to take hundreds of samples because that's what we did. We worked with big developers. We had to find the contamination. So you're coming home, 6 p.m. You start at 6 a.m. and it dawns on you. With those samples you've just collected, you forgot to fill out a chain of custody. I kid you not, every sample we have to take, we have to handwrite physical piece of papers like this, a chain of custody. We're talking pages. They're covered in mud, they're wet, they're broken. It is a system that just doesn't work. And the labs that we send our samples to to get analysed for, they can't read them. So then you spend days trying to figure out what happened and what went wrong. So, I came up with Maria and I pitched it to the Lawagon guys and we came up with this solution. Unfortunately, it's not going to dig the holes for us, but what it is going to do, it's going to completely eliminate the need for paper chain of custodies. So, I'm going to now walk you through um, what we built. So, I'm a project manager. I've come to the dashboard. I can see all the projects I'm working on. Down the bottom, I've got archived projects. These projects go on for months, if not years. It's insane. The top ones are all the ones I'm working on. So if you enter into a project like SOPA, Sydney Olympic Park Authority, I kid you not, I worked on one of these sites. These sample batches, each one of these sample batches contains hundreds, if not thousands of samples that an environmental consultant has to collect by hand. If you go into it, you can see the sample names. You can see the soil matrix type that the lab needs to know. What the, what's contained in, is it in a jar, is it in a bag for asbestos? And how quickly the turnaround time is. Clients need a deadline, so they need to know exactly when the analysis is going to come back. Uh, analytes, these are the things that the labs have to test for. We have TRHs, VOCs, which are volatile organic compacts. We have BTACs, and the new in thing with the government is PFAS. Have you guys heard of PFAS before? I it's literally in everything and it causes cancer, so they're testing it in everything. It's everywhere. It's the new asbestos. Sydney and Melbourne covered in asbestos. Come talk to me. I, come talk to me after and I'll tell you how bad it is. So we can now see that all the samples are all here. But here, look, we've made a mistake. My, my, poor, my poor graduate student who's just kind of joined the team, she made a mistake. She put two Win 09s. The labs can't analyse two samples with the same name. So we can go in now and we can actually correct that. So Win09 becomes Win10. Soil jar, great, she did fine. It went to the Eurofins lab, perfect. But she forgot to include PFAS, so we're going to add a tag that the, then the labs can see in real time the change. Save it. Done. How easy is that? No more chain of custodies. No more having to go through documents and emails or anything like that. The problem is now solved. So we can now archive that project once it's complete. We don't need to see it again. It keeps the dashboard clean. It keeps the dashboard easy to use. You're only seeing the information that a consultant is going to need and you can easily re relay that information to a client. It's that simple. No more chain of custody. Everything is digitalized. There are no more bottlenecks. No more having to read poor written handwriting or sheets of paper covered in mud or that you've had to kind of... Because I'm not rewriting these, right? I don't have the time. We don't have the time. So this eliminates that problem. It digitalizes the whole process. You can see exactly where your samples are going. You can then see what stage of the analysis in the labs is at. Is it received? Is it delayed? We can then relay that to our clients. Simple, effective. It is easy. It's simple as that. Thank you, guys. So then this, this next group is composed of three beautiful personalities. Uh, this, this, just so you know, you're going to presented, be presented with a beautiful, sexy French accent. So give it up to Flinda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Paul. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm French. And in France, housing can be a pain. But honestly, it's nothing compared with what I faced here in Australia. Your condition reports are just insane. They are too long and honestly not really accurate. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So from our different experiences as tenants, 
we wanted a useful tool to create and share our condition reports. And also in France, my grandfather is a landlord. And he told me that paper condition reports are really not convenient for landlords. So um, because we all have smartphones, yeah, my grandfather has one, um, we came up with Flido for renters and landlords. So as a new renter here, uh, I just rent a, a flat called I9. And I can see my invitation from my landlord. And I, I can edit my condition reports. So as you can see, I already began this condition report. And I want to finish it with you tonight. So I have a lot of room in these flats which are furnished. And I can go through it. I have a picture for my front desk. <laughs> and uh, OK, the comment seem, seems to be OK for me. So I will just agree with that. And I will edit this condition report. So let's continue. Uh, my kitchen sink. Uh, OK. <laughs> so let's have a look. It say no dishes here. Hmm. <laughs> Bit bad. So OK. I will edit a comment, and I can just I can just save it to edit my condition report, and I can continue. What else I have to do? Oh, the desk. Uh, so it seems to have a lot of desk here, but yeah, I have a picture, <laughs> <laughs> but there is no desk anymore. Um, what I say, I have uh, just a, a bunch of weird looking people. Um, so I will edit that. Um, just weird people, you know. And <laughs> I will add a picture of this with weird people. But you know what? We'll take a selfie together. It will be funnier. <laughs> so are you ready to take a selfie? <laughs> and here we are. I want to use this picture. <laughs> and OK, those people seem to be clean, but a bit damaged, honestly. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can save this comment. And this comment will appear just below the old one. And my landlord can see this one. Whoa, your Wi-Fi wi here in Australia is pretty good. <laughs> OK, um, so everything seems to be, to be OK for me. I will preview this uh, condition report to check if everything is OK. So I have all my condition report. I can go through it. So yeah, seems to be OK for me. I will just confirm. And because I'm a tenant, I want to share this condition report with my landlord and also keep a record of it. So I have a PDF for that. So here it is, Flido, condition reports, made easy for everyone. Thank you. This next, next group is three amazing girls. And they're, 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 they're actually the dream team. Because honestly, in terms of communication, in terms of product management, in terms of getting things done and learning quickly and learning tech so quickly, uh, I've been completely amazed. So come on up, Caroline. This is Bella Bird and enjoy. <laughs> I mean, wow, like what a nine weeks La Wagon experience this has been. We've learned front end, we've learned back end, we've built our own Rails apps, we've met incredible people. Unfortunately, I actually can't remember any of it because I actually took a tumble uh, on the weekend at a great Gatsby party, uh, true story, uh, and got a pretty bad concussion. So very embarrassing, particularly leaving hospital on a Sunday afternoon in my uh, flapper dress and feather boa. Um, but yeah, I've had, so I've had a really nasty um, bruise on my head and I've used up all my foundation. So I need to get some more. Um, I know, I'll go to Bella Bird. Bella Bird is my one-stop shop for beauty shopping. Basically, it does all the hard work for me. It compares all the mega beauty retailers um, and processes all my orders in the one space. So it also stores my previous purchases as quick buy items so I can repurchase them in one click, like my go-to shampoo there. 
But um, because I actually can't remember my foundation, I've got a bit of memory loss at the minute, um, I'm just going to sync Beauty Bella Bird with my Gmail. And what that's going to do is it's going to scan through my emails and find any uh, receipts from the major beauty retailers and pull in those products that I've previously purchased and pull them into Bella Bird as my quick buys. So there's my go-to mascara, that's uh, a concealer, my shower sheets. Ah, okay, there we go. That's my foundation. That's what I need. Awesome, it's also on sale. So I'm actually gonna just, uh, now it's a quick buy item. I'm just gonna click buy now and uh, I can purchase that in one click because Bella Bird saves my uh, card details. So all it takes is one click to repurchase, which is amazing for those items that you buy over and over again um, and you don't really care. You just need it on the go. You need it quickly and you just wanna buy it in one click. Now, what also is awesome about Bella Bird is it, um, it compares retailers' prices and shipping terms. So, I've actually got to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Um, mum, if you can block your ears for a sec. Um, my mum wears the same lipstick every day. So, I'm just going to Google Tarte lipstick because I know that's the brand. <laughs> Sorry, mum, you're not a Tarte. Um, <laughs> And it's not one of those, that one, the creamy matte lip paint. That's the one she likes. So, yep, namaste, that's the one. And so I can see all the retailers that sell this lip paint and I can see prices and I can see deliveries. So I'm going to go cosmetics now because it looks like it's going to deliver sooner. I'm going to add that to cart. And I might get her something else because she's been a good mum this year. Um, I might have a look... Maybe bay for me. Yes, I'll get some yes. That's a good one. Get yeah. Oh, nice colour. So I'm also gonna go with yeah. I'll go with cosmetics now again. Add that to my cart. Perfect. And I can check my cart and I can check out. And it's that simple. No more googling for the same items. No more comparing, navigating like other different retailer websites, no more different accounts, no more different passwords, because I can't even remember my name right now. Um, it's all in the one place. Um, so yeah, whether you've had a concussion and you can't remember a thing, or you just want to save time Googling the same things, Bella Bird is a no-brainer. Thank you. Well, I, I, I was hoping that was an error page, because I thought we were going to have some cool dances. Uh, well, uh, imagine these, none of these knew how to code nine weeks ago and they're able to build actually really, really cool web applications in nine weeks. Uh, well, now it's time to go over to the Christmas party. So it's Alice in Wonderland theme. And just so you know, the next boot camp is on the 14th of January, 2019. So enjoy, enjoy the night and thank you for coming. See ya. <laughs>